you get to see all the things you didn't get to see when I went to El Salvador. That happened almost two years ago, but I didn't have a computer, so that's a good excuse. This time I will talk to you about my trip and I will degloss everything on how I travel only for some culture. The first time I heard Ken Booth was going to El Salvador, I was like, Oh my God, I have to see that for the first time because it's something historical. And I did the things that I, the same things that I do in New York, go to shows, drink with my friends and dance. I did the same things, but in El Salvador. And this is what happened. <laughs> apologize for the image and the sound of the video but I'm doing everything with low quality with whatever I have in my hands right now and I'm trying to do the best off of it so enjoy as much as you can my first time seeing Ken Booth but it was definitely as good as usual. Ken Booth like kills it every single time though with the dancing with the voice with everything and also the energy of the people was very um I don't know just thinking about it, it gives me the chills because there was people from all over Central America that traveled just for that show and as you can see in the video it was amazing. <laughs> It was my first time seeing the Blue Beat Makers, but I have known about them for a while. I actually have known their music and danced to some of their music, and I like them from the bottom of my heart. Definitely seeing them live was another experience. It's one of the most rescuable, fine bands that you can find in El Salvador right now. So if you care about it, check it out. You have the name already. Live, they're really good. A lot of people think that El Salvador just knows the culture. There is. And very alive. People craves for alternatives on art, alternatives on music, and simply on culture. Sí. 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 